David Muir. Good evening. It's great to have you with us on this Friday night. I'm Whit Johnson in for David tonight. And we begin with those new revelations in the first public primetime hearing on the Capitol riot. The House committee laying out their case that January 6th was the culmination of an attempted coup and that former President Trump was at the center of it. The American people hearing videotaped testimony from people in the president's inner circle. Been, Former Attorney had, General Bill Barr testifying that he I told Trump repeatedly there was no evidence of election fraud. Ivanka Trump testifying that she accepted Barr's conclusion. And a 12-minute video showing escalating violence of that day, much of the video never seen before. A Capitol Police officer describing a war scene, calling it carnage and chaos. And the stunning claim of testimony that the former president was aware of the rioters' chance to hang Mike Pence, and that he responded with the sentiment, quote, maybe our supporters have the right idea. Today, the former president responding to that. Millions of Americans tuned in for the first hearing, and now a half dozen more are planned. ABC's chief Washington correspondent, Jonathan Carl, leading us off. The committee relied on some of those closest to Donald Trump to make its case. His once loyal attorney general, who told investigators Trump's claims of a stolen election were bunk. In that context, I made it clear I did not agree with the idea of saying the election was stolen and putting out this stuff, which I told the president was And the president's own daughter and senior advisor. I respect Attorney General Barr, um, so I accepted what he said was saying. Hours after the hearing, Trump put out a statement saying his daughter, quote, had long since checked out and was only trying to be respectful to Bill Barr. In a dramatic 12-minute video, the committee presented the horror of that day, using previously unseen surveillance video to show every possible angle of the attack. As well as video shot by documentary filmmaker Nick Quested, who was embedded with the Proud Boys in the weeks leading up to January 6th. On that morning, he sensed something was up as he saw a group of some 200 Proud Boys go to the Capitol instead of to the president's rally outside the White House. They were starting to walk down the mall, easterly direction towards the Capitol. There was a large contingent, more than I had expected, and I was confused to a certain extent why we were walking away from the president's speech because that's what um, I felt we were there to cover. The committee heard from Caroline Edwards, the first Capitol Police officer injured in the attack. I was slipping in people's blood. You know, I, I was catching people as they fell. I, you know, I was, it was carnage, it was chaos. The top Republican on the committee, Liz Cheney, says they will establish Trump's direct responsibility for that carnage. In one piece of never-before-seen video of the attack, a rioter is shown reading Trump's tweet criticizing his vice president even as the Capitol was breached and how it turned the crowd against Mike Pence. Mike Pence didn't have the courage to do what should have been done to protect our country and our Constitution, giving states a chance to certify a corrected set of facts, not the fraudulent or inaccurate ones which they were asked to previously certify. The U.S. demands the truth. Bring out Pence! Cheney revealing what she said they've learned about what Trump really thought about those hang Mike Pence chants. You will hear testimony that, quote, the president did not really want to put anything out calling off the riot or asking his supporters to leave. You will hear that President Trump was yelling and, quote, really angry at advisors who told him he needed to be doing something more. And aware of the rioters' chance to hang Mike Pence, the president responded with this sentiment, quote, maybe our supporters have the right idea. Mike Pence, quote, deserves it. After the hearing, Trump denied he said that. But listen to what he told me last year in an interview for my book just two months after he left the White House. He were you worried have. about him during that, that siege? Were you worried about no, his safety? No, I thought he was well protected, and I, I had heard that he was in good shape. Mm -hmm. No, because uh, I had heard he was in very good shape. But, but no, you I heard those it, chants. That was terrible. I mean, was, you know, the... He could have. Well, the people were very angry. They are saying, hang my Because it's, it's common sense, John. It's common sense. 
Jonathan Carl with us now has been covering this story since the start and, and John the hearing last night it was really just the beginning they're planning up to six more hearings in the coming weeks. Each one of those hearings with, uh, with a different theme, presenting what the committee says will be new information, information tying Donald Trump to January 6th and the events leading up to the attack on the Capitol. The big question is whether it will break through and most importantly, whether it will reach people who have come to believe Donald Trump's lies about the election and also about January 6th itself.